Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dennis Duke Onyala. If you're new here, kindly uh, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on different social media platforms at Dennis Duke UG. Today, I want us to go through something that has been over and over and over again been asked by you, my beautiful viewers, how to make these cages. Now, I may not necessarily go into how to make these cages, but today I just want to show you some of the things that are, are very key and very important when actually building these cages. Plus, how much does it really cost one to have these cages? So today, all your questions in regards to cage construction or cages are actually going to be answered by me. And one thing that many people don't know or didn't know is that I also do cage construction. So for those of you who've been asking, where can I get somebody to build the cages for me? Well, you have me already. Please give me a call on these particular numbers and we shall discuss the nitty gritty and everything that is involved or required for us to actually come to your farm and build these cages for you. Like I told you, modern cages is the way to go when you want to start a commercial rabbit farm, okay? Many of you who've been doing uh, rabbitry on a small scale, please, you need uh, something that is modern because that modern way of farming is the one that is actually going to help you make money. Just to remind you, we also do farm training at the farm. For those of you who are interested in raising or rearing uh, rabbits for money, please hit me up on this particular number and come over to our farm at a small fee. And of course, we shall train you how to actually do most of the things involved in rabbit farming. So our cages, as you can see, are three tiers. This is one, two, three. The reason as to why we decided to have three tiers is because this structure our house that houses uh, these cages was actually expensive. So we needed to use or utilize all the space uh, that is available to actually have more cages. Like I said, in rabbit farming, you use a small space, but get more. So we wanted uh, to actually have three tiers so we can utilize this space. Now, before we even delve into uh, the nitty gritties of cage construction, I want to let you know that having three tiers is good because you're saving on your space, but it also has a downside when it comes to cleaning those upper cages of serving food or checking on the animals. That's where the challenge is. But I mean, for you farmers, you weigh in. What are the options? Yeah, having my animals up there. So for us, we chose to put uh, males up there because they don't really require a lot of uh, you know interaction on a daily. So you weigh in the options. The benefits, if the benefits of, ha of having three tiers is more, then you go with that. If the disadvantages for your case are more, then you definitely settle in for two tiers. For those of you who don't know, it's just like having three levels, okay? Those are the three tiers that I'm talking about. Now, the biggest consumer or the biggest material when constructing cages is the timber. And now we also have uh, the, ka the katimba, which is uh, we, 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 the green mesh. Yes, the green mesh, or I don't know, the coated green mesh for in different countries. I don't know how you call them, but these are the green uh, coated uh, wire mesh. They are very, very good. Please buy the green ones because they are strong. Uh, they are black also, but they are not as strong as the green ones. So timbers will be the ones to consume more. In fact, something I also forgot to mention is that in rabbit farming, cage construction takes the biggest percentage, but that only applies for people who are doing rabbit farming on a smaller scale. But people who are doing rabbitry on a large scale, you look at land and then the structure that actually houses these rabbit cages. So in, in a small scale, it's the cages, okay? Yes, so I'm going to break down some of the uh, material that is required. One, we said timbers. We shall need uh, the green wire mesh. We shall also need uh, the chicken mesh, which is a bit bigger and a bit stronger. The chicken mesh is actually to just uh, give strength to this uh, green coated mesh. We shall also need some nails. 
and then we shall need iron sheets and then we shall need what else plywood now for us in our case we used plywood uh, to divide these cages or to to separate cages because plywood is cheap for those of you who may not have issues with uh, the costs of the katimba the katimba previously when we were building our cages the katimba was uh, roughly at around uh, 270 208 the highest was at around 300 right now as we speak it is over 400 and, and, and 20 450 in different places and you can get this in different uh, hardwares across the country however people up country may not have access to them so again you can contact me and we see how best we can actually get for you a roll of this katima it's usually good to buy in roll because for those of you who are doing rabbitry on a, on a big scale but if you're doing on a small scale well you could buy uh, just a few meters here and there so we used plywood because we were trying to save on the cost another beauty with using plywood is it, it helps you prevent disease spreading okay so for example if this rabbit in this cage was a bit sick uh, transferring the disease to this other one would be at least limited or curtailed somehow as opposed to when you have just using these uh, these uh, coated wire mesh okay because these animals keep interacting physically but now here they don't interact physically so this one is separated from this one completely yes uh, also as you can see uh, our cages have the urine collection center and the droppings collection center which are these gutters right here also these ones are the ones that actually uh, try to pick urine and droppings from these upper cages or this upper you know tier to and then they drop it to this downer one and then this whole system this whole setup has been connected to a point that every urine and everything goes through this lower channel and then it's distributed outside so that's how we we put our uh, our cages that's how we connected our cages so because constructing cages takes some really good time i may not necessarily go into okay now you're going to hit this but i'm just going to show you how a cage is constructed different people construct differently uh, these cages but this is how we constructed ours now I'm going to give you at least the dimensions of what is required when building cages. One cage like this, this is a compartment, J just get me clearly, from here up to here. Our cages are two sides, but of course if you want one side we can do that for you. Uh, meaning they open this side and then the other side they also open okay so this compartment from here up to there is made up of 24 cages cages i mean these small units these small units where the rabbits actually uh, stay those are the cages i'm talking about and we have 24 of them each side having uh, 12 and then the other side having 12. all this can cost you roughly around 2.2 and by 2.2 million shillings, Uganda shillings. For those of you who are, who are outside the country, please do the calculation. Uh, a dollar rate is right now at 3,600. So now you know what you're working around with. Yes, I know it's a bit expensive for some farmers who are unfortunate that they do not have the money at, at, at hand. But I mean, compared to what you get out of it, you can actually get that in a very, very quick time when you're dealing with rabbit farming. I forgot to mention something. Rabbit farming is the easiest way to actually get investment, return on investment, okay? The return on investment is really, really quick because rabbits give birth every single month. But for somebody that is doing, of course, commercially, uh, you lose like two weeks in there in between uh, to give the, the rabbit some time to actually regain before you take it back to the male uh, for breeding. So. In a, in a year, a rabbit gives birth roughly around six to seven to eight times in a year. So now you know how much you are. And every rabbit gives birth to around five, to around between five to ten, even, even 15. We've had a rabbit that gives birth to. So you now know that return on investment is really, really quick. So bet between cages, between, for example, from here to this level, each cage should at least be around two feet that is the width and then the length 
And then the, the, the height. The height, I usually tell farmers to work around uh, between 1.5 to 2 feet. Remember, you need to create some sort of slope. So you need to uh, give in uh, that accountability as well. So the, one so the, 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 the height from here to here should be at least between 1.5 to 2 feet. Now you choose where is 2 feet and then where is 1.5. You can choose to be 1.5 this side and then the other side. But you can work within that. That one I don't really uh, want to, to put so much emphasis because everybody uh, wants it in their own way. What I can only caution you is this space here should be provided at least one uh, one feet in that if somebody is trying because I told you that in rabbit farming the biggest cause of problems is poor hygiene and poor feeding so how do you handle poor hygiene is you you leave this space so that you enable your workers or yourself to actually be able to clean here every single morning and then be able to pour water if necessary okay so this space this spacing is very important don't look at how tall how tall or how uh, high the cages are going to be please provide these spaces so that your farmers uh, your workers rather are able to actually clean these cages on a daily because then you'll be uh, uh, dealing away with some of the diseases that affect our rabbits another thing that you need to pay attention to is that money that I talked about 2.4 in regards to the 24 cages is it comes with this these nipples the water levels and, and, and the nipples, okay? So everything, you, you, you just give me your money, I buy the material and everything else, I build for you the cages and what is required of you is just to bring your rabbits and put in those cages. You do nothing. The only thing you can do maybe is to buy a jerry can uh, where your water, uh, your water source is actually going to be. That's the only thing you buy. But iron sheets, nails, this. Now, the beauty with us is, despite the fact that some of these materials uh, increased in terms of prices, we did not increase the prices for cage construction. What we did is we reduced on our labor so as to be able to actually build more cages for people. Now, I don't know when you're watching this video, but things could change depending on the situation, the prevailing situation at hand. So please... Uh, just in case you contact me after two years and I tell you a different price, don't run, don't cry. Listen to me. Let me explain to you what could have caused uh, the price variation. Okay. Another thing that you need to pay attention to is uh, the, the measurement of some of these timbers. So we used Bliti. I don't know if you know Bliti, but in simple terms, is a two, a four by two or two by four. And two by four, it looks uh, a bit bigger. Now, some of these uh, poles that we, we, timbers that we used, we just divided some of those. For example, we got, uh, for me, my case, we got uh, four by two and we divided it in two, two, so that we got some of the poles or timbers that we used in making, uh, in making the doors, in making, in, in actually constructing some of these, okay? Just make sure you do not leave space when building uh, these cages. Make sure there is no space where a rat could actually get an opportunity to enter into those particular cages because those rats could cause havoc to your farm. They are actually looking out for uh, your kids. They can actually eat them. So please pay attention when actually building these cages so that you do not leave any space uh, for them. So this house of ours, the structure, the rabbit structure, is made to actually accommodate roughly around 350 cages. Now, 350 cages, if we computed very well, could actually house roughly around 1,000 rabbits. Now, that is on a big scale. For those of you who are willing uh, to join the business on a big scale, please contact me so I can help you in setting up the farm very, very well. I forgot to mention that some of uh, that money does not come, of course, with these feeders these are clay feeders very good i do recommend them uh, they don't usually break unless you break them yourself but the rat, uh, rabbits cannot actually break them so i think that's the simple uh the simplest i could actually give you in regards to cage construction but for those of you who want to learn uh how to make cages please please come through 
we do give that training as well but at a cost yes we train you how to make the cages it doesn't matter whether you've been to uh, a carpentry school or not please come through we shall train you and we shall give you hands on until then it's a goodbye please follow me on different social media platforms at dentsduke uj until then it's a goodbye